Hey everybody, I'm Stacy, licensed designer for Sizzix, Jacquard, and Couture Creations. Welcome to today's Take Two Tuesday event where I take product from these three fabulous manufacturers that I design for. We pair them together and we make a fun make. But today, today's a little extra. It's a little extra special because my March collection, which released March 1st, has been out for an entire month. Wahoo Kachoo! It is available at your favorite independent stores. It's available at your favorite online stores. It's available at Zizix.com. But what's so exciting about today is that I get to share with you my designs for my May collection, and they will release on May 1st. So you get to see me work with these fabulous designs over the next several weeks, all leading up to the May 1st launch. And I think you're gonna find that a lot of what I've brought out in May is going to work with your March Stacy Sizzix beautifully. So I'm going to walk you through each of the designs, show you a couple samples, and then we'll do a quick make because I want to show you how the stamps and the stencils are so swoon worthy that when May comes, you're going to love this single layer stencil. It's going to take that stamp to a whole new level. Now, if this is new for you and you've never been part of a Take Two Tuesday, welcome. We premiere my classes on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Sunday California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern when we live chat during the premiere. So if you see a live chat going on, say hello. There are hundreds of us online waiting to meet you and greet you. I also ask that you look under the description of this video because we always try to promote retailers, independent, online, all of them. So every week we pick two retailers to highlight, mom and pop shops, and then we pick, we have an online retailer or two, even international stores where you can go find my product. I will be dropping links as I can during this video in the live chat so you can click right on over and maybe find that you have an independent store not far from you or you find an online store that's carrying something you've been wanting and wanting and now you found a place to get it. So I'm Stacy. Join me while I walk you through my collection for May and over the next several weeks I'll be including my May collection along with my March in our Take Two Tuesdays leading up to the launch of the collection May 1st. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tilt on down for today. Yes, I'm a little bit sick, so bear with me. I'm going to tilt on down for today. We're going to get started. I'm going to show you the dies, the stamps, the stencils, a couple samples for each, and then we're going to make. I am Stacy, and I'm a licensed designer for Sizzix Jacquard and Couture Creations. I am so glad you are here with me today. All right, let's tilt on down, shall we? So I just came back from a trade show and I brought a little something something with me. My voice, well, so be it. All right, so first thing for May is another fanciful framelit in circles. And do you see the embossing element to it? They're so pretty. I love them. These are Elena's arch circles. I always name them after my SMS girls. And it is in the same format where you have a die, an embossing feature, a die, an embossing feature, die, embossing feature, die, so that you can use the die on its own, you can use that embossing feature on its own, or you can pair them together. Now you may see that I added, I had a little extra room, and I thought, well, I'm not going to waste that template. No, 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 we're going to do something. So I added a border so that you could frame your circles out if you wanted to. And I added a solo strip so you can do a border as well. Oh yes, I'm a girl who takes advantage. If they give me a size that I have to work with, I'm going to fit as much in as I possibly can. So these launch in 
May, actually May 1st. And always remember, if you see this pretty little teal, the banner over here, this little sidebar, teal means Stacy Park. Of course, it's got my logo on it, but teal, when you're looking in your local retail store or online, if you see that, you go, oh, that's Stacy's product. Absolutely, all by Sizzix. Now, how cute is this sample? So we took the circles, we split them in half, we did the embossing, we did the sanding, isn't that darling? And then another sample where we just used the circles. But does this look familiar to you? This is one of my stencils from March. This is one of my stencils from March where we went ahead and implemented it and paired them together to make a great combination. So circles coming your way May 1st. Diamonds, diamonds coming your way May 1st. And again, I did the same thing. See, I put lots in there. You've got a die, you've got an embossing feature, a die and embossing feature all the way down. And over the next few weeks, I'll be using these so you can see how to incorporate them and how to use them. And you might be going, well, what are these little pieces right there? See, I got a few extra triangles in there, but what are these few little pieces right there? Let me show you. Again, I'm a girl. I'm a girl who always wants to get as much in as she can. Can you see the little pieces here and the little piece right here? That little die cut right there? That is what those two are. We were able to do the corners with it. We were able to do the diamonds. And then I wanted a little detail for the diamonds on the edges so that you could just highlight them out. And I got it in there on my template. Yes, I am very proud of myself without question. Love my diamonds, and my diamonds are Katie's Decor Diamonds, or Deco Diamonds, Katie's Deco Diamonds, woo! And I think they're, be ooh, look at that, ooh, shiny. Love my diamonds, but let me show you one other sample. Look at this slimline. And we're going to be using this stamp today. Now, this stamp came from my March collection, but we've got a brand new stencil to go with it. Here you've got my Deco Diamonds going on, all sanded with the Reveals paper, done in slimline. You've got a hello, very small and tiny, from an upcoming die set that I have to show you. But I think they really are just lovely. So coming May 1st, that will give us six fanciful framelit shapes, six in total so far. Then I went into thinlets a little bit and I had fun with these. Oh my gosh, I have layering pieces upon layering pieces upon layering pieces, a few little sentiments. Layering pieces upon layering pieces upon layering pieces. But you don't have to, and the little sentiments all fit in the center. Love this die, but the main die, the main die actually is very simple to use. You don't have to use all those layering pieces. Can I get it off? <laughs> you don't have to use all those layering pieces if you don't want to. Come on. One more pull. Weeks. Come on. Oh, no, I'm going to pull it all with me. Oh, there we go. There's the main die. Look at how cute is that. And then it has a background die if you want to shadow it. And then you have all of these layering pieces. You see, I wanted this die. This is what I was going for. But I couldn't see leaving all this space empty. So I said, well, we're just going to fill it in 
with all the layering pieces and let you decide how much layering you want to do. I have two dies like this for my May collection and I am so in love with them. So many options with them, including the sentiments. So there it is. But look at this. Here we took my stamp, one of my stamps from March, and we die cut and paper pieced it back in. This is just using that main die. That's it. Look at how beautiful that is all paper pieced right back in. Or if you have the inkling to, look at how amazing is this doing all it just layers everything layers right back in and what's the background oh that's a brand new stencil I have that works with one of my stamps from March look at how pretty and yes the sentiments come with it love these two two completely different looks one amazing die set these are thinlets by Stacy Park look for that teal and you can never go wrong. Let me show you the next because it has it has a kissing cousin. Then I did this one where the sentiment is at the bottom and yes you get the words and yes you get the layering pieces. And yes you get the background die and you get the main die and you get all the layering pieces just like the other that I showed you. This is Cosmopolitan Refined Rays. And the last one was Cosmopolitan Swank Spirals. I like that, Swank Spirals. Well, I named it, so I better like it. <laughs> so pretty, but a little different look. And I liked both of them. I thought they were different enough that there's a reason to have both. Let me show you some samples. So here again, using one of my stencils from March, just doing very simple paper piecing, using the main cut of the die. And the main cut is going to emboss in. It's going to add a little detail. You've got the, the wording at the bottom that comes with it. But then, look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, is that absolutely gorgeous? Simple layering, easy to do. Whether you choose to layer or you choose not to, the options are yours because we've given you 20 dies in this set to decide how you want to utilize it. I love taking my stencils and my stamps, die cutting them up and then fitting them into place. I think it looks wonderful. So, there's my next, my next die set. Then we move into stamps and stencils. And my first stencil is here. It's lovely, it's big, it's oversized. It's a single layer stencil. And holy smokes artichokes, when you see the price of this, your heart is gonna go pitter patter, pitter patter. But what does this go with? Um, hello? How about my stamp from March? Do you have this stamp already? Have you been looking to get this stamp? Guess what? I did a single layer stencil to coordinate with it. So now you can pair the two together. You can use the stencil all by itself. You can use the stamp all by itself or you can coordinate them together because they are two peas in a pod love this and I love the size and I love the price. I think you're going to be so happy with it. So here we used one of my diamonds, cut it in half, and here we just used the stencil. Isn't that pretty? Just the stencil. But here we've done the stencil and the stamp. Pow! And <laughs> we've got sentiments from one of my other stencils. Pow! 
So, do you love it with the just the 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 stencil all by itself? Very serene, very calm. Using that the top part of my deco diamonds. Do you like the bold color? Guess what? You're going to be able to do both because they pair together. The stamp is out right now at your favorite retailer, your favorite online retailer, Sizzix.com. Stamp is available now. You want to get the stamp now. And then in May, come and get the coordinating stencil. And again, the price is so swoon worthy. I can't wait to share that with you. Then we move into another stamp and stencil combo. Look at how beautiful is this. And again, it is a single layer stencil. Look at the size of it. It's great. You can do five by seven cards. You can do slimline. You've got room. But it coordinates with my stamp that launched in March. Stamp, stencil, together, two peas in a pod. The stencil works all by itself. The stamp works all by itself or you get the option of using both of them together. That is the, that is the reason for my collection. It is more of a foundational collection. It is more of something that is timeless and not so theme specific so that you can make it into what you need it to be every time you pull it out. Maybe one day you just want to use the stencil and you're doing a guy card and you do guy colors and then maybe one day you just want to use the stamp and you just need a background or you're doing mixed media and maybe one day you want to put the two of them together to make sheer magic. Wait till you see what I have planned to show you with these. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is our stencil only. Pretty stencil only. Here is our stamp and stencil. Look at the color in this. Options. That's what I'm about. Giving makers options, giving crafters the opportunity to play and explore and have it all and not have to choose. So available right now, my stamp is available right now and the stencil to coordinate May 1st. Get on a notify me list for this product because it is just going to make your heart happy. It's going to expand your creativity for sure. Open up doors that you didn't even know you wanted open. The last item I have for my May 1st collection is a stamp and stencil set. So the stencil is included in the set, built right in. You have the stencil and you have the stamps. Now the stamps are not a, a one stamp where this is what you stamp and that's all you get. Oh no. So the stamps are all individual. The stamps are all individual. So you can do the flowers. You can do the flowers and you have two different leaves to choose from. You can do the flowers with one leaf, with two leaves, with the same leaf twice. You've got two butterflies, one in flight, kind of the side view, a port uh, side view, and here this one is absolutely in flight. You can use the butterflies on their own. You can use the leaves on their own to make a beautiful falling leaf background. And then I was able to include sentiments. Where there was room, I included sentiments. So I have there is always a reason to smile. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. I'm so very proud to call you my friend. Use the, the floral with one of the butterflies. Use the floral with two butterflies. Just use the butterflies all over. Use the floral with the, with the 
Leaves, it's all up to you. They are all individual and come with sentiments, but it also comes with the coordinating stencil. And that means everything is there for you. Every opportunity is just waiting for you. And I love the stencil. So you've got the flowers and you've got the leaves. I've included you are special, you are kind, you are loved as sentiments. But I had room. So the butterflies, I was able to do a solid and then a layering stencil to add detail over the top. A solid and a layering stencil to add detail over the top. This stencil is beautiful all by itself. Or you match it with the stamp. Now it all comes together in one package, so you're going to get it all. You're going to have the opportunity to just use the stamp, just use the stencil, or pair them together to give yourself perfect alignment for coloring every single time. It's all from Sizzix. It's all part of the Stacy Park collection for May. It is exciting and beautiful and, and welcoming and lovely and easy. We've made it so that you are going to feel so successful the very first time you play. Let me show you some samples. Here is the stencil all by itself. It's beautiful. There's the butterfly with the layering because I had room on the stencil, so I gave you an opportunity to add detail. Here is the stencil all by itself. Here is the stamp and stencil together. So here we had one leaf coming off. Here we have two leaves coming off. Here we used the stencil sentiment. Here we used the stamp sentiment. So pretty. And then this one was done using just the stamp and one of my stamps from the March collection. My fanciful framelit ovals, all done with the background. Everything was done with my March collection and the center was done with the floral from my May collection. I think they're just lovely. And I think that because everything is in the package, you are going to feel so, what's the, accomplished? You're going to be able to stencil this and pull the stencil up and say, oh my gosh, I did that. And you did. So new for May, a stamp and stencil combo where you're going to get both in one package where the stamps give you the functionality to use them when you want, how you want, in the configuration that you want. Every time can be a little bit different. And you're gonna make beautiful things. That stencil just adds that perfect little magic touch to it. So we've got our, first we've got a stamp and stencil combination. I have got a stamp release that's out now with a single layer stencil coming in May. I have another stamp and stencil. The stamp is out right now. You can go get it right now. And then come May, add the stencil to go with it. I have got two framelits, or thinlets. Love them. They just make beautiful, beautiful finished cards and mats for your layouts and altered art and pockets. Wait till you see all we have done come May. 
and then I have two new fanciful framelits. That takes us up to a total of six. This is my May collection, and this is what we are going to be playing with over the next coming weeks leading up to its launch. Now, I know it's available on some websites. It's coming soon, and you can mark yourself as a notify me. Absolutely. Love it. But today, today I did want to play. I did want to play with a few things. So I'm going to play with these two just to do a super quick make to show you how they can work together. And I'm going to start with the stencil. So let's grab it. And I'm going to bring over my stencil and stamp tool. I'm going to start with the stencil, so I'm going to open my stencil and stamp tool and take the lid off, but I'm not going to send it too far away because I know I'm going to use it as a stamp positioner in just a little bit. I am still on the same piece of sticky grid that I've started with. I mean, it's it's been here for a while and I am going to have to change it, but not yet. And since I don't have to change it yet, I'm not going to. I'm going to cut up some paper. I'm going to use my alignment tool, which is this green little tool right here. It clicks right in, sits right into the top where my lid fits in my stencil and stamp tool. It allows me to take a stencil, anybody's stencil, and move it anywhere I want. High, low, up and down, back and forth. So if you have stencils that do not have the little holes in the top. All Sizzix stencils have these little holes at the top. Have no fear, Sizzix is here. They've come up with converters that you can buy, 10 to a pack, that if this was the stencil that you had that had no holes in it, the converter just sticks right to it and adds the little holes at the top. You don't have to alter your stencil and you can use the converters again and again. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna butt my paper right up to it. Well. So a little bit further down, you're going to see that there's a little bit of a lip here and you'll, that'll go with my, with my stamp. You'll see how that goes with my stamp. The stencil does have the Sizzix name on the top. It has the SKU number and it has number one saying position one. Being that it is a single layer stencil, you don't have to look for position number two, three or four. I'm going to push it on down. It's going to almost click into those little holes. You're not going to use the two top little nibs for your stencils. Oh no. The only thing those are good for is to hold your little tool in place when you're ready to put it away. So now I can start to color. And I'm going to be using my Jacquard Premium Dye Based Inks. 12 colors so far. The next six colors will be in July. So we'll have the colors, the next six, and the glitter to match. Can't wait for that. So I picked a couple fun colors, and I'm going to start with Plum Crazy. I'm going to bring over my little blending tool and just kind of put it off to the side. And that way I can tap into my ink and then dab it off. These are highly saturated inks, which means that I can desaturate them depending on how much water I use or how light of a touch I use. My inks don't make mud, and that's really important. The colors blend into each other. They're uh, water reactive. And yet, the ink can be wet enough for you to go ahead and throw embossing powder down and emboss with them. They are a dye-based ink, so that's very unusual for a dye-based ink. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm just going to add some color. Some places I'm going to add a little darker. Some places I'm going to have it a little bit lighter. And I'm going to blend a couple colors together. All right, I think I'm good. 
So there's Plum Crazy. And then I think I'm going to go into my yellow curry. And I'm going to take that yellow curry into some of my Plum Crazy and you're going to see it make a new color. They're going to blend and be happy together, enjoy each other's company. And you can see I'm still putting my hand down, holding my stencil in place. Because while this is an alignment tool to align your stencil up, it's not a I'm going to hold your stencil in place uh, and never it's never going to move. No, you need to put your fingers there to keep it in place when it's time to keep it in place. Now you're saying an alignment tool. What are you aligning up, Stacy? Well, look at how easy it is for me to pull this up, look at what I've done, and put it back down and continue on. That's the alignment I'm talking about. That's a bam moment. That is amazing. So it's really meant for layering stencils, but even on single layer stencils, I can pick it up, look at it, see if I'm happy where I've missed color, where I want to add color, and lay it down. I don't have to realign it, reconfigure it, so tape it down, nothing. I'm done. I can move to my next color. And I'm going to move into my teal deal. Hello, teal deal. And again, I'm just going to go in and kind of blend some of my colors together, not making mud. Local retailers, online retailers have my Stacy Park inks by Jacquard. They now have my Stacy Park glitters by Couture Creations. They're micro fine glitter. We're going to be playing with that quite a bit in the next few weeks. Okay, I think I need, I want one more color. But I can look and see, how's it looking? Pretty cool, right? So I think I'm going to add one more color. I'm going to go into my Admiral Blue. some Admiral Blue in here. And again, they're just going to make a new color. No mud here. Soft and easy and blendable. Everything you want in an ink made by a company that is known for their fine art products. Do I think I'm done? I want to take a little more yellow. All right, let's see. Lift up and look at what I was able to create. And this would be great. I could stop right there and just call it done. But I have the stamp that coordinates and that stamp is out right now. So I can bring that stamp on over and now I don't need my alignment tool but I do need the lid because now I'm going to change my stencil tool into a stamp positioner. 
and my stamps are oversized. My stencils are oversized. This is a full A5 size. So if I cut this in half, I get two A6 cards. If I cut this in half, two A6 cards. But I can also do a five by seven. I can do slimline. I can do A2s. It's up to you. I made my stamps the size that really will work with just about any kind of crafting, any kind of card making, scrapbooking, altered art, mixed media. What do you want to do? I got you covered because I'm you. I'm a crafter. I get it. So I'm going to line this right up on my stamp or my stenciled image. I think that's close enough. I'm going to close it up and there's two sides to the lid. One side has a grid. One side is smooth. You want that smooth side to go against your stamped image because that's what's going to cling best. And now you say, are you going to use black? No, I'm going to come in here with my Admiral Blue. And I'm going to ink, ink, ink this up in my Admiral Blue. Black is far too predictable. Let's be adventurous. Let's be courageous. Let's try. Let's be bold in our color. Let's be Prue on the British Baking Channel, the British Baking Show. That woman does not shy from color, and I'm going to take Prue's. I'm going to take a, a note from her, and I'm going to be bold in my color. Now, if you don't watch the British, British Baking Show, you have no idea who Prue is. But go Google her. You'll see. That lady loves her colors, and I love her. Press. So little presses here and there, all the way across. You can use that little tool if you have it. I'm going to lift up. And I'm going to say, oh, that's not so bad. If I want it a little darker, can you see? If I want it a little darker, I come in, lift this up because it's a stamp positioner. Oh, that one didn't get anything. This one's missing. I can see the ink is still there. Better. Okay, I'm going to ink again, add a little bit more color to it, and embrace the color. Nothing's moved, so everything's going to line up beautifully. Bam, bam, bam. Just like I am doing pie crust or pizza dough. Press up. Oh, oh, so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look what I did. And you can do it too. And it was just that easy. And I just blended my inks and I let the ink do all the work and I didn't use black. I used the same blue that I was stenciling my color in with and it just pops. Bam. Now, what are we gonna do with it? There be the question. So I say we grab How about a little bit of blue of my purple reveals? And what if I grab my block? So I've got my sanding blocks from Sizzix. These are out right now. To clean them, you kind of use them like you were doing an eraser, like when you were back in school. And I think I'm going to give this a little bit of a sand. So reveals paper is very special paper. It is not solid core cardstock. It is not white core cardstock. It is color core cardstock. So that when I sand it,
that little edge turns to a lighter shade of purple. And I'm just gonna do a little bit. I don't wanna sand too much. I just want a little bit of that edge. It almost looks like I've inked it, but I haven't. I just sanded it. Reveals comes in A4. There's 10 colors. You get four of each sheet, but it also comes in A6 size. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Ooh, I have this little viewfinder. My, my viewfinder is literally two by two. I don't even think it's two by two. I don't have a computer hooked up so I can see what I'm doing. I have this little upside down viewfinder. I'm not very um, savvy, but I get the job done with my videos. If you saw that my, my actual camera's hooked to a, <laughs> a piece of wood, <laughs> throw away piece of wood from Home Depot, but it works. Look at how pretty is that. And then I can take this, <gasps> dreamy. Dreamy, okay, dreamy scissors, where did you go? I had you. Oh, there you are. So let's cut this down. See, I could make, I could make two. I could make two out of one. Now I know you would be using a trimmer. I hear ya. I'm just gonna do it by sight. I'm a freehand kind of girl. See, I want that sanding kind of look at how pretty is this oh. okay let's tape that down so you could be playing with the stamp right now and in less than a month that stencil comes out it's a single layer stencil it's a5 in size and like I said the price is going to knock your socks off. It's all about making something that you already have new again or adding to it, giving you an opportunity to play with it all over again and get excited about it just like you did the very first time you saw it in the store or you took it out of the packaging. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna finish it. I think I'm gonna finish it on the down just a bit. And then finish it on the pink. Now the pink is also reveals, but I'm not gonna sand it. I just want it to be a little bit of a trim around. So I'm gonna cut me off the hack of it. Tape it on down, and then I'll trim off the rest. And I still have this piece. It's a twofer. No, it's actually a fourfer, because you could use the stamp by itself, you could use the stencil by itself, you can use the stamp and the stencil. Now, see, where, where did I? I'm the worst. If you overcome craft with me, it's almost like you have to put a bell around me and my things. 
I put them down. And it's like, where did they go? But we would have a lot of fun. That I promise you. So a little bit of double-sided tape. down. And now all I have to do is add a sentiment. But I still have this whole other piece to work with. I can die cut out an oval. I, I mean I can die cut out my top notes. What do you want to do with this? I could take it and die cut the main frame and then paper piece these back in. Just die cut the main frame of this. Die cut that out of one color, then come back and die cut this and then literally just paper piece those right back in. Options are yours. They all work together. They're all meant to be in the same happy family. Your crafting family is the family it's supposed to be in. And with my inks, it's a bam moment. So, what did we do today? Well, we played with our brand new Stamp and Stencil. Stencil releases May 1st. Stamp is already out. We coordinated the two. I launched the stamp first and then the stencil works beautifully with it. We brought in our stencil and stamp tool to make all the easy magic happen. We used our alignment tool when we wanted to stencil and we used our lid when we wanted to be a stamp positioner. You get to do both and it's all about the launch of the brand new, let's see if I can bring some of this over, it's all about the launch of the brand new May 2024 Stacy Park Collection with Sizzix. A little bit of something for everybody. Coming your way in just a month, but over the next several weeks, over the next, probably over the next two months, I'm going to be using all of this and incorporating it in with my product from March. All right, you guys. So visit your local independent stores. Visit your favorite online stores. Visit Sizzix.com. If they don't have the Stacy Park product yet, say, hey, I saw Stacy do this video, this Take Two Tuesday video, and she said, go shop with my local store. So I'm here. See if they'll special order it for you. Encourage them to, to carry not just my Sizzix product, but all of the Sizzix product, the tools and the papers and the other amazing licensed designers. There is so much planned for you in 2024 from Sizzix with 49 and Market and Catherine Pooler and me and the Sizzix in-house designers too. So between my new inks and my new glitters and my new die stamp stencils, so much more coming. The rest of 2024 is chock full of goodness. All right, you guys, 
Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for always being kind and supporting your local retailers. Thank you for spreading out your crafty budget around and that way they all can stay in business. It just makes a girl's heart happy. I will see you next Tuesday where we're going to pull out. I think I might play. I actually think I might play with this one, this stamp and this stencil. I think I'm going to go wahoo kachu with these two and maybe throw in some glitter in there. Ooh, glitter that doesn't make a mess. Micro, micro, fine glitter from Stacy Park and Contour Creations. Ooh. All right, until next week, I am Stacy, licensed designer for Sizzix, Jacquard, and Couture Creations. Thank you for you for spending your time with me, and I so enjoy, I so enjoy playing my day away with you. Until next time, bye everybody.